Here we go, bro. <clears throat> Wow, 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 wow. And here we are, live and direct. I think we need a jingle. Victor? <laughs> yeah. How's, how's our jingle go? You know, uh, the one about Loving our your lives life and, and our bodies. Your body and, and yourself. Well, let's sing it. Okay. I, I love my life. I love my body, I love myself, yeah, yeah. And what about the men of the north? That's you and me. That's you, me and you. All oh, hail the men of the north. <laughs> With Shaft of Dune and Victor Nielsen. Bro, come a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer. Let's get you in frame. This is still the director of me. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. This guy and this guy. Am I going to sit in, in the air? You're going you're gonna, <laughs> to... We're, we're going to get you... There you go. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. Mm. So welcome to the Shaft Show. Uh, this is a, a beautiful podcast, live stream, IG live, with special guest, Victor Nilsson. He's a very important man in my life. We met at, at the White House, a little party uh, last year. Right. And now we've been uh, inseparable ever since. He's part of the Juicy Entrepreneurs. And today, well, introduce yourself. Who are you? What do well, you do? You Why are you here? <laughs> I, think, I think you'd do a better job. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, like you say, we're inseparable. We're the new uh, power team. We oh, really are. We're uh, going to be the Shiva Divas. The We're Shiva Divas, the double Jesus. <laughs> the double prophets. The double prophets. Yeah. Um, and we're writing an, an album together. We're writing an album. Mm -hmm. He's actually famous. And uh, I'm just ri riding his wave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's mutual. It's mutual. Let's it's, say true. That. it's true. It's true. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a singer and uh, I write music, I arrange music, and I also teach singing. So we're writing an album together and we're going to be featured on the album and uh, you want to learn how to sing, right? It's been my passion to be able to uh, sing whilst giving a yoni massage. <laughs> but an album, I'll do that as well. Is there any more soothing experience than that? Remember that time we had that Juicy Entrepreneurs uh, retreat mm -hmm. and someone had a, a breakdown and you sang? That's right. Very healing, very but I didn't see any yoni massage then. No, was, <laughs> it, there was no yoni massage and there was a bit of trauma release work in there channeling mm. the Divine Father. Well. And you sing him as well. Yeah. It's very beautiful. It's like the the uh, the sexual healers of uh, like, uh, the Avengers. Or, <laughs> The Avengers of Sexual Healing. That's us. That's us. Hell yeah. Hell okay, so we've got a concept mm. album coming out. It's uh, it's based on the hero's journey. Mm. We're very much into men's work. Um, it's all new for me, but you love men's work. I do. I 
too. Man. <laughs> this man. Man. No, definitely. I'm a recovered lesbian, so I'm working on my manhood. My voice is deeper now. Mm. Let's hear it. Yeah, thanks. I'm working on it. Oh. Man flesh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the album. Did we get an. Yeah, Life is a Video Game is the album. It's mm. a 12 step journey. Of the hero's journey, yeah, and um, and we're gonna figure out what it's gonna be because we're gonna start sh- um, recording it next month or this month. But before that, so it's kind of a writing as we go kind exact, of process. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Make it up as you go along. And uh, before that, I gotta learn how to sing. <laughs> so, Victor, well, teach me how to sing. Well, to, to for starters, we need to establish something. I can already sing. Which is, you can already sing. I can sing. already sing. You, we're, uh, we're just going to help you remember. Yes. Yes. Have you, uh, have you heard a child screaming mm. on the top of their lungs? Yeah, I do that And quite often. not losing their voice. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We all know how to sing. We all know how to scream, how to use our voice, and just in a healthy way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're just going to remember that. Okay. It's snowing outside. It is. The winter comes. How many times? Well, eight times. Eight times every every, in spring. Well, spring comes eight times every year. Wow. But it fools us. It fools us. Yeah. I wonder. This must be the sixth or seventh time. It's the sixth time I've been counting. Oh, you have been counting. Okay. So uh, two more April Fools (laughs) in May, and then finally summer. Summer, yeah. And spring might hit. That's right. Well, very much needed rain, I'd say that. Oof. So I, I, like a baby, mm. I could scream. Yes, you can. Can I scream in a, in a, uh, in a pleasant way, though? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Okay, right, right, right. It's all about warming up the voice, mm-hmm. which we'll uh, start today's session with. Um, and uh, I know we've had one session before, right? We have, yeah. Uh, that was quite short and uh, mm. intricate. Yes, you were <laughs> making me push a wall. I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I think we should be uh, standing. Standing, we okay, we're going to be yeah. standing. Is there a place where we can do that? We could, we could, st- we could stand here. We could, yeah, <laughs> there we go, we can kneel. We can kneel. There we go. Great, 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 great. Amazing. Everybody joining us. Nice to see you all. This is men's work happening. The men of the north <laughs> learning how to sing. Okay. All right. So what we're going to be using is, you know, our whole body, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. It would be ideal to stand on our feet, but we're working as with what we've got here. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the singing starts from, from here, right? Uh-huh. So uh, we kind of want to juice up the, the body from... From uh, our hips and our pelvic bones, Ooh. and just yeah, that the, the I the, mean, Shakira once sang, "Them hips don't lie." <laughs> she she sure did. I'm mean, I'm feeling quite stiff in this. Mm-hmm. And um, I I have from a reliable source that you just woke up. So. Yes, I did just wake so, up. Uh, so I'm quite let's stiff get in the, the morning. Blood flowing. Yeah. Men, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So yeah, juice up your hips, start rolling your shoulders, open up your chest, and all of that nice movement and clicking your shoulders and all of that, all that good stuff. Okay. Okay. Coming alive. Coming alive. I was trapped in bed for so long. (laughs) So what did you dream about? Uh, Maxine Bjork, an influencer on uh, Instagram. Oh. I was like massaging her, her right kidney. Filet. A filet. <laughs> and then she started crying. Mm. Um, trauma release work in my dreams. Oh. Well. And You're doing I, it while you sleep I these know. days. And then I found some uh, funny plants in a lot of compost. <laughs> pulled them out. In your dreams still? In my dreams, yeah. Nice. Uh, All right, so uh, uh, just let the neck fall to to your side. And if you want some more stretch, you can add a hand on top. 
and also a hand to the side here. Palm facing down. This doesn't feel like singing. Not yet. It doesn't. Not yet. And uh, feel free to turn your head up a little bit. Just a 45 degree angle. And if you want more stretch, you can pull your arm back a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Is this uh, opening up my throat chakra? It is. It oh. is. You figured it out. Oh. And likewise, 45 degrees down, you can put your hand a little bit in front of yourself for more stretch. I never thought this would have been part of singing. Hmm. Well, back to default and do it the other way around. Well, we're going to be using a lot of muscles and uh, passages right here. Uh -huh. So we're warming up our instrument, of course. Did you know in Tantra, they use the lingam to open up the, the throat chakra? Oh, I a, didn't. A conscious cock. <laughs> That was my job on the island for many years. So how did you do that? I had to do Maybe the I plank. I can learn something. <laughs> I had to do the, the plank um, whilst they had their mouths open and I had to dip my erect penis into their throat very slowly so I could feel their throats opening up. Hmm. And um, we have to go through the gag reflexes. Uh, but as I have a conscious cock, and I'm sending love and light to their throat to open up their Vishuddha Chakra. Mm. With the slowness of it, it, it adapts to the... to the thing. Mm. It adapts so it doesn't like contract, so it slowly expands. I'd like to see that practice in a chorus. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, the... my friends, are called an orgy. <laughs> well, the annoying thing was, and you know, good thing for them, they learned how to sing Within a month. Mm. Yeah, it's very jealous. How's your gang reflex? Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I just want my friend uh, Sola. I've not had many conscious cocks. No, this. exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, I've, I'll do anything to reach enlightenment. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we get to that. Okay, right. <laughs> and that's for my OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe now. <laughs> Donate. Premium members. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, now uh, we'll do some Feuillon. What is that called in English? You'll just follow me. Okay, yeah. So I'll, I'll do, and then you mimic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. with your uh, solar plexus and your diaphragm here. Mm -hmm. That's the one who, who wants to be working here. So really feel like whenever you that it's pushing out and giving you a little Ugh! I'm gonna shat myself. <laughs> it's yeah, so it's not it's not a full thing, it's just so try to isolate the power to, to this muscle right here. And you can also feel a little support from from your back Okay, here. got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah yeah. So Just the S this time. Yeah, and give it a little punch, a little. And one is so for V, it's f and 
Mm. Right? One is, one is without the voice, one is just air flowing, and one is with the voice. So we're going to practice separating the two. So first, Exactly. Exactly. And now we're going to do it uh, on the same breath, so an, an even out breath. We do. Exactly. So this, this is the key to when we sing that there's always an even airflow. It's never a, it could be at some times, but when we're singing a phrase, we're, we're always having a, a stable air pushing mm -hmm. out, and then we can connect the voice whenever we want to. So that, this is- That's like, why I struggle. Mm, so this really. is like the, the core, the core uh, kind of muscle knowledge to, mm -hmm. to sing very like fluent. So uh, we, we practice this a little bit more. Yes, we do. That's a, that's a very key ingredient. Um, moving forward. Uh, Can I we move forward over here? My hips are hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Can we lie down? Can we lie down? <laughs> uh. Can we uh, angle stuff so we can be standing? I think that'll be good. Okay, close. there we go. Yes. We yes. did it. We did it. Yes. Very good. Okay. Very good. And now we switch places as well. I like this. <laughs> great, great. Come, 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 come. Closer, closer. There it is. How about this? <laughs> ah, I just woke up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. Um, so, what I hear when you hit the notes, you're coming from underneath. Mm -hmm. But we want to be on the note right when it starts. Which uh, So you need to sing the note in your head before it comes out. So... <clears throat> So you're singing the note all the time, but then you're I disconnecting know. the voice. All right? So try that. Yeah. So I'm sure the listeners can now hear that you're coming from underneath. So we, we need to think. Because I hear this. Ah, okay. So we need you to... Okay. You're singing the note all the time. It's just connecting the voice to it. Mm -hmm. This is the tricky part. So let's do this. We'll just sing the note. We'll do... Time. Try try doing the opposite just for a change. Here's the note. Yeah. Do you feel that sensation when we're landing on the same note? Mm -hmm. So always try to look for that when you when you're mimicking or when we're singing together. All right, so... Here's you, okay. Very good, very good. And hit that note again, straight on. All right, all right, one more time. 
more time. Very good, very good. So, what I hear is that you're coming from underneath. So, you need to uh, find a way to just sing the note in your head. I th I'm sure you hear it now because we've sung it a few times. And just connect to it immediately, which means you need to prepare your instrument. Because if it's not prepared, it will, it will come from underneath. That's better, that's better. So, the key here is that the airflow comes first and then you can connect the voice. If they start at the same time, you will get this whilst it stabilizes, doing, right? Yeah. So, therefore we do yeah. It's getting better. I, I hear the, the time that you're gliding up is shortening, so you're getting there. Still mm. a little bit, but that's very good. Uh, so let's do... Uh, all right, all right. So uh, let's find the same note to begin with, uh, to begin with. Uh, and there, from there. One more time. So, a bit smaller steps with me. Very nice, very nice. So, a, a big part of singing is uh, listening, right? Uh, if it's by yourself, you're listening to your own voice and your own intonation. Now you're kind of listening to me to mimic me. So a big part of that is to tune in. And I see when you focus, you're, you can hear where I am and you, you find... I, I feel where you are. I can't... Yeah, it's more like I feel the It's vibration. a sensation. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we need to connect that to your ears mm. as well. So that's where I'm... The disconnect is happening. Exactly. Yeah. And... I got a little present for you. I love presents. I've seen a one of these pitchfork. Yes. We use it in tantric practices to get more orgasms. Really? Yeah. Tell me about it. Ding! Ooh. Ding! Ooh. Ding! Ooh. That's awesome. Yeah. I have one at home. I should try it. Many, 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 many <laughs> ways to have pleasure. <laughs> Alright, so you know how this works then? Um, no. <laughs> People just do it to me. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's basically, you just uh, bang it on something hard. Mm-hmm. And, uh, us usually works with your bones. Uh, this is why I don't do it, because it hurts me. Oh. And, this is something I got when I was a kid, and uh, it's been very important to train my ears with. Oh. Therefore, I want to give it to you. Oh! Um, is this your childhood one? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna borrow... I'm singing. Oh, really? You're gonna get the magic wand. Oh my god. So, the best thing is, on your knee, and you put it here, try it yourself. Oh. So that's a very angelic tone, right? It is. Yeah, and that's a perfect A for you. A. So, with this, I want you to, uh, I challenge you mm -hmm. to uh, play around with this five or ten minutes a day. Just because uh, you can do it on pretty much any hard surface. You can do it here. No! You hear it in your bones. <laughs> oh my god! That didn't work. <laughs> you need to make it vibrate. Oh, 
So as you connect bones to, so uh. if you like push on your on your on your um, yeah the bones in your ear and your finger, you can like connect it to an elbow or something. And oh, this is weird. Yeah, vibrates in the whole body, right? It's nice. Still going. Yeah. Still going. So. So what is the practice? The practice is, since we're uh, going to um, practice listening, which is uh, a lot in singing, I would say it's almost 50, 60 percent in mm -hmm. singing. It's just knowing where you are in the music all the time. Yeah. So this will never fail. It will always play the same note, which is. Perfect A. Oops. Ooh. Yeah. So the practice is to uh, to listen to this a lot mm -hmm. and uh, to listen to it and also to learn how to uh, sing in tune with it all the time. Is it just one? Ooh. It's one note. So I'll be good at that. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Exactly. And if you play around with this for a week or two, you will start knowing where that note is yeah. without hearing. So that's that's what I. Every time I do a lesson, I feel it, and then then I just don't sing anymore. Exactly. So, and I know this about you. You want to cheat your way to success. That's what I do. But I also know you're very good with practices. So. Yeah. So, uh, okay. This is your practice until next time. Thank you. To, uh, play how, around with How this. old is this? Hmm. I don't know when it was made, but I got it when I was 10. So it's at least 20 years old. This is quite the gift. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it back, obviously, because, uh, I don't want to keep something from your childhood. Well, because if it teaches you how to sing, I'll gladly it, give it away. Exactly. Oh. Oh. But it's a fun thing, like you can... <clears throat> so, what will I... Let me do this. Can I touch your ear? Yeah. Ah, okay. Do you hear it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. So it works in many wondrous ways. And as a 10 year old, I had a lot of fun with that stuff. <laughs> so, I wanted... So... Let's say I wake up in the morning. No. See, I'm stuck now. Where are you stuck? Tell me. I don't sound like the... Are you singing the same notes? So it took and me a you while. Hear that. It took me a while to. At first, I did. I was like, "Yeah," okay. but that's cool, right? You found it. Yeah. So, practicing that, finding that every day, with it and without it, with it and without it, and I think it's going to be great to train your ear a little bit. Okay. Mm. Cool. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. One day I'll be as good as you if I got the original get the original one. Definitely. The Definitely. one one to rule the magic. And I can tell you a little secret that is okay. uh, uh there's What a... is the secret? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I love the pose. <laughs> ooh. See it's gone. Mm-hmm. That's why you need to practice. Ooh. Okay, I will. Yes. And I'll also teach you a way to easel, more easily find that. Mm -hmm. First, I need to tell you a little secret. Tell me the secret. So, there's a thing called perfect pitch. Have you heard about it? I've seen uh, the film Pitch Perfect. <laughs> yes. But do you know what perfect pitch is? No. Well, it's the basically... Well, oh, it should be. It should be. Well, it's basically something that people think that you're born with. And, and it's that you can... If you tell me, sing this note, I can do that. 
And people think that people are born with that, but that's... I'm not going to say it's not true, but it's definitely something that you can train and you, that you can learn. Mm. And I learned it through this. I have perfect pitch and I learned it by training with this. That's why you're famous. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> why, but that's uh, I want the, contributed. I want the perfect pitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I can hit that note whenever I want to without hearing it because it's always in my head because I've trained it to be in there. And I, uh, I know you will as well. Okay. So May the 16th is when our sacred producer is saying we need to be in the studio. Mm. That's next week or something like that. <laughs> well, <laughs> two weeks, yes. Okay. Saturday, we got a uh, writing <laughs> day to write a whole album, which is great. <laughs> Can I sing by May the 16th? Well, do you remember how we started this? That you can already sing. I can already but sing. The question is, will you remember until that day? Ooh. Ooh. It's gonna take a while. It's going to. But yeah. with practice, and I know when you practice hard, you and when you manifest, you do things quickly. So I do. It's true. I have full faith in you. Yeah. And Training the voice is like training a muscle. Like, if you didn't have abs today, you wouldn't have abs in two weeks, but you will be closer, right? Mm. So, uh, thank you for the abs reference. Mm. I know you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know my language. <laughs> but yeah, the training the voice is like training your body. It will, it will take a lot of practice, but it will, it will progress and your okay. voice will be growing. So, but the, the thing is, training your ear as well and that is not as you cannot see that or hear that as as much as you can see your abs growing yeah that's the tricky part knowing the process when it happens mm. because you can't really see it so yeah that's, that's why i'm here and we'll mirror you in your progress okay great yeah. amazing. amazing amazing okay you want to do learn some more tricks yes please please all right so we got this uh-huh You can clearly hear it. Yep. But how do you find this note? Like you can hear it and you can hear when you hit it. How do you find it? Well, a good way is to do, uh, and I'm going to use an Italian word now called glissando. Uh huh. Which uh, I'm not sure exactly what it means literally, but in music it means to, uh, to bend the note. Oh. So a glissando is, for example, this. Uh... So you go from a note without just hitting every note on the way, you kind of gliss up your way there. You stretch the ah, voice. Exactly. I see. And that's a glissando. So that's the perfect way of, okay, I hear this <clears throat> note. Uh-huh. And the, and so that's, do, that's where I'm struggling. And if you do the glissando very slowly, you will train your ear to hear when you're when you're on the right key, right? So let's try that. We try it from the mm. bottom of our voice. Okay. So find a low note that you like. Ba, ah, oh, 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 oh. All right. find it? No. Oh. It ran out. It does. <laughs> it ran out by the time I got Try there. Try it to your ear then. Okay. It will last longer. I know if you're on the right note. Oh. This is exciting. <laughs> so that's what it sounds like to me, really high angelic one, but it's not. Mm. Mm. What is the technique to get this going? Because I always hurt myself doing this. <laughs> what, can I hit it on this? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Ooh. There you go, right? Ooh. 
somewhere around you're very, there. You're very close. Yes. And I can see that you see that. It's getting so, there. So the trick. There's, pro there's progress. The trick is not to hit it hard, but to hit it fast so that it vibrates. Yeah. Oh, that didn't hurt at all. Exactly. Yes. Yes, Shaft. Yes. Yeah. The perfect pitch! <laughs> they said it wasn't possible! Yeah. I'm the chosen one! <laughs> Ooh, I lost it again. <laughs> That's great, because then you didn't have to practice to find it again. Okay. Oh. Right, you are, my friend. So. Okay. Let's talk about octaves real quick. Mm -hmm. Do you know what an octave is? I'm not sure if I do. Well, in music, mm -hmm. um, there, there are a certain amount of notes. And when you reach the octave, mm -hmm. then the same notes start over, but in a higher range. Mm. So this is what comes out of this. But... They're all the same notes, but in, in different ah. octaves. So you would feel you would feel the same the same sensation of hitting this note if you sing which this is the same note, the exact same pitch mm -hmm. and note. But this is also the same note but in a lower uh -oh. pitch. Uh -huh. And ooh is in the middle of the ooh, ooh, ooh. So ah. you will feel kind of the same sensation of hitting the note uh, depending on what octave you're in. So uh, that's also something to find it in different ranges. Because I hear when, when you're trying, when you're listening really hard, you want to go up here and yeah, say yeah, yeah. Out, which is right. But you can also find it in your speaking voice, hmm. which is lower. So that's just good to know when you're playing around with this. I see. And it's all getting saved here, so you can just. This go is back true. Here. I mean, this is why I do these live streams as the Akashic <laughs> Records for Shaft of Din to remind me of where I am. Definitely. Just wait until we get the, uh, not the Emmy, the uh, Nobel Prize for singing. Oh, I wish. World, I wish there bring was. Bringing bring world peace like Bill and Ted. <laughs> yes. And it all started with this, everybody. Just remember. <laughs> <laughs> On this here video live stream. Yes. Yeah. Um, another good thing, if we uh, just release that for a second, mm -hmm. uh, about the glissando. That's mm. also a great way to play around in your voice, to explore. <clears throat> and we can do this by uh, painting with the voice. Mm. So here's where, the, where our bodies and integrating the bodies a little bit comes in. So... Uh, are you okay? I'm great. Yes, good. I, I just remembered when I started singing Kirtan, I used to sing with my hands. Oh. And this is very common. Look at all the great musicians. There will be hands moving around when they oh. sing because it's some natural part of us that yeah. wants to explore with our bodies while we sing. Yeah. And it's also a great way of showing where, where's the note. Is it high up? Is it mm. low? Is it right here somewhere? You know. So. We're going to imagine that we have a paintbrush. I don't know. I'm a lefty, but you're... <laughs> yeah. Witch! Burn him! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's, what, that's what... He's also Jesus. That's what my parents beat me out of being left-handed. They did? They literally beat me out of being left-handed. Yeah, I'm so it. sorry. That's, that's fine. It's well, so you're lefty at heart, but... Yeah. Well, to be honest, it's because I fancied Sandra Thornton. And I really wanted to be like who? <laughs> the first love of my life. Oh. She never knew I loved her. The one that got away. So you wrote, you wrote her love letters with your right yeah. hand, or with your left hand. 
what you had here. Mm. <laughs> then, then my mum caught me. She got the slipper and went, No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. It's like the same slap when you're trying to eat someone's fries. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that type of slap. No. It's way worse. <laughs> I, I tried to make it milder for the kids, but it's, you know, <laughs> no, it's they, not a kid's show. It's not a kid's show. We've already talked about yeah. gagging reflexes yeah, and all yeah. that. So, Yeah. <clears throat> All right, moving forward. Well, <laughs> painting. You're painting. a righty, I'm a lefty. Yeah. That's fine <laughs> because then we can mirror each other. Nice. But um, so when when uh, we're gonna do a little glissandoing, we're gonna play around with our voice, mm -hmm. and also, um, but we're gonna let our hand lead. Okay. So whatever your hand feels like doing, mm -hmm. uh, your voice is gonna follow. So both voice and eyes are focused on what you're painting, and I want your voice to follow mm -hmm. but uh, so s start with uh, doing it uh, yourself play around a little bit just a lot of uh, like note hive and stuff and you can also I saw you did the whoa 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 kind of thing you can and uh, there's no limit to the imagination right so um, now I want you to uh, uh, think 2d and you're gonna you're gonna uh, so uh, let's uh, say a song that you know an easy Children's song. In or... the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. All right. Great, we'll use that one. And I want you to sing that and paint it. So I want to see what it looks like. Okay. Close my eyes? Oh, it sure. does matter. Okay. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Alright, alright. So, did you feel that it was difficult? or can you It was a little bit difficult. Uh, I'd like to go again. Yeah, sure. I have many tries. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Alright, alright. That would be a very beautiful painting. Thanks. Looked like Arabic writing to me. It did. Yeah. It did. It felt like it's very it. Cool. Maybe that's how that language was. Oh. I don't know. Um, so yes, um, that was a very aesthetic uh, like representation of the song. And uh, now let's try let's try doing the same thing. But you uh, think note height. So <clears throat> if if you're singing up, you're you're painting up. So. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, for example. So you try to really follow. If you go up with the voice, you paint up and the other way around. Mm. Yeah, let's try it again. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out on canvas. Right. And that was so it's a, just up and down. And that was a different painting, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I think sometimes you were not sure if yeah, the voice was going up yeah, and down. Yeah. And this is also a great way, because now I want you to look. Uh, I know you feel what you do, but I also want you to watch your hand as you're doing it uh, to even more connect uh, the voice, if it's going up or down, mm -hmm. with, with your movement. So try that again, but feel free to check out your hand. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Yeah, and that was even more accurate than before, right? Mm. So this is also a practice you can do. You can pick any song and you can sing it and you try to paint it as well. All right, uh, so uh, let's, let's choose another song that you know that's... Uh, Maybe a children's song or some easy... Twinkle, uh, twinkle, little star is a classic. That's a classic. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we do, yeah. we do the same practice uh, with that one. Just uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yeah, and you do your, you do your painting. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you are. All right. You did both backwards and forwards. I, I did. I ran out of candle. <laughs> yeah. That's very, uh, it's very intuitive. I like it. Um, so it's twinkle, twinkle, right? It's the same. You're singing twinkle, but they're the same note, right? But I saw you did twinkle, twinkle. So uh, something was not connecting. Either mm. your voice didn't follow your pain or your pain didn't follow your voice. Okay. So try connecting twinkle. the two. Twinkle. Twinkle. Yeah. Twinkle. And and if you're writing that, that would be a, a either a dot dot uh -huh. or a, or okay. a, an even stroke, right? Or something mm. to represent that you're on the same level. So right. try that again. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder how you are. All right. So yeah, at the end it's a descent, right? So uh, you mirror that very well. But somewhere on the on the up, the going upwards, uh, I saw some uh, yeah confusion. Some confusion, yeah. And that might be I don't know if if you're familiar with the melody enough. But let's let's try for now to to do an even stroke. So uh, maybe we'll look twinkle twinkle little star. Just do that that phrase. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. One more time. And twinkle, twinkle, little star. All right. So, twinkle, and the second twinkle, for example, is that the same note? It's a higher now. It's a higher note. Yeah. And I didn't see you paint. I higher. know, because I didn't say it. Exactly. So I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Exactly right. Uh -huh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Very good, very good. And now do it the same thing, but in even strokes. So it's it's not the dotting thing. Uh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. Very good, very good. And when you do that, you also sing the melody more. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, more fluent and, and in like one phrase, and it's also more correct note wise. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's also a, a thing you can practice around with. Uh, and also, when you're trying to find the, the little uh, note mm -hmm. in the magical wand here, uh, the one note you to can rule them all. You can paint your way to it. Ooh. take a while mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very good very good how do you feel it's the same after every um, every lesson I have with singing the intentions are there but I never do it after the singing lesson mm -hmm. so this is my biggest problem when I was learning Kirtan I became very good at singing and um, the Hanuman Project, Pabanji, he, uh, he does a lot of, he's British and he goes around the world singing. Mm. He basically said, you learn Kirtan in Kirtan. All right. So you practice Kirtan when you're practicing Kirtan, when you're singing. So what I, what I know is when we're in the studio, when we're singing, through osmosis, something will shift in me. And then my, my throat just opens up. Mm. I'm sure that will happen too. But I would count. I wouldn't count. I wouldn't on count it. on it. I know. I. I mean. I'm not not no, saying. Not I'm, saying that I'm gonna just not do that. I'm. I'm saying it will happen. Yeah. But the chances of how much that can expand mm. and how much that will integrate in what we do will will just be exponentially greater the more you practice. This is true. I also just remembered that I've got a bunch of. Um, how to sing audio tutorials sat mm. on my laptop from a long, long time ago. Mm. So yeah. So you have a lot of tools right here. Yeah, a lot of tools. Yeah. Time to build your little singing box. This this is your true. Voice box. I, I will I will try and dedicate time to it. It's adding more time. It's getting out of bed. I mean I got used I it's hard at the moment. <laughs> new house. It's a, it's a new house. It's a new house. Well, your bed is quite comfy. I... I said, Bro, this is why I don't want to get out of bed. 
<laughs> so. Very good. Everybody who's been tuning in, you know, anyone can sing. It's been my biggest passion and my biggest mm. way of releasing trauma, which mm. is beautiful. Uh, any last words you want to say before we sign off? So many last words. Ooh, famous last words. Uh, I think uh, this was fun. And uh, I... Uh, yeah, I do believe that we can uh, really do this. I mean, it's happening whether we like it or not. No, but I, I know that the, the album is happening, but I, I really think that we can uh, help you remember this thing. Ooh. I mean, this is what I wish for myself. Um, it is something... My, my singing journey is the same length as my tantric journey. Hmm. They, they, they actually go hand in hand. There was one year... 2017, where I just dressed in blue, mm. uh, the colour of the throat chakra. And mm. everything I did was around truth and speaking my truth to open up my throat, uh, to, to be able to speak my truth to... Yeah, a lot changed that year. Yeah. And it usually after a medicine journey or some kind of shamanic ritual, my throat, I could feel it open uh, after breath work also as well like when when it physically expands i'm like oh, i could hit all the notes and there was a period last year where i woke up i was like i could sing and i could yeah and i was like oh this is great but that's when there wasn't any more curtains or bhajans right so i stopped there, there wasn't anything to sing or people to sing with there's always something to sing shaft well so uh, one la the last thing I do want to say is that today we were focusing on just uh, finding you some practices mm -hmm. and and uh, uh, opening up the ears and and all that. Next time we will actually work on activating the voice. Even yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be able to do that all the time. Exactly. That's my dream. <laughs> so, uh, so. Uh, we're gonna have a few lessons, you and I, uh -huh. and we're gonna have different focus on them, and then we're gonna try to integrate them all. So it's very important that you uh, do the practices, practices in between. Yeah. If you really want this dream, and I know you do, mm. it, you've had it for a long time, yeah, even since you uh, got through speaking to the masses, mm -hmm. uh, I know your next step is singing. And it's true, yeah. So, uh, I trust. <sighs> I believe in myself. I gotta, like, my morning routines are a mess. My nighttime routines are a mess at the moment. Mm. So uh, I'm just trying to find balance in, in the new house and everything. And it is something I can incorporate. I think so. Yeah. For Maybe sure. add it to a morning mantra or something yeah. that you can sing. Or that well, you this is what I'm going to Yeah. So that's why like I'm going to. love your voice or mm. whatever it might be. So I'm going to. Uh, Vishnu came to me as I said the other day That's right. so I'm trying to find a good Vishnu mantra that I could just sing I'm so not used to me in makeup I know you look great <laughs> <laughs> sexy Jesus that, I mean this is how I saw you when I saw you in Billy's breathwork session Oof. yeah was I there? so yeah so basically oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, in spirit I was doing a breathwork session with Billy one of our juicy entrepreneurs and I saw Jesus, and Jesus has never come to me. Mm. Like Jesus isn't one of the deities I work with. Then the next day, we <laughs> it had, is now. It is now. <laughs> the next day, I met you, and mm. we went for a little burger. Remember that burger? I think I ordered two, maybe, after the first <laughs> one. Classic shaft. Uh, and then I was like, oh, this is like the person I saw in my dreams. Mm. And, now, and now you've written a song. For the juicy entrepreneurs, which is amazing. Well, I mean, is, is that something you'd like to sing to us now, or do you need the piano? Uh, I would like the piano. Ah, uh, the piano. Yeah. The, the juicy entrepreneur song is next level. <laughs> it really is. It's coming from him. I'm too humble to say it. <laughs> it is the best theme song for any community to have. Mm. Juicy entrepreneurs. It's beautiful. Okay, so we're going to sign off. Mm. Thank you very much, Victor. Thank you. And where can we find you? Uh, where can you find me? I'm right here. 
Uh, I'm actually not on Instagram, so it's just Facebook. But if you want to listen to my quartet or my uh, some of my music projects, you can check out Zero Eight uh, and Lemon Squeezy, and you will see some more of my singing right there. He's actually famous. So <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually famous. So. Thank you for everyone tuning in. Really appreciate everyone tuning in uh, on all the devices. We are the officially known as the Men of the North. All hail the Men of the North. Exactly. All hail the Men of the North. One day. Next week I'll be able to sing. <laughs> so thank you. Mwah. I love you all. And we set you free. Have the best day of your life. Goodbye. Tingles. And get my uh, online course, The School of Self-Love.